I've never believed it was his remains from the first place. Ashley Nunez always wondered if her dad wasn't with her. She says it took months after his October 2021 funeral for the funeral director, Miles Harford, to finally give the family the remains. And after the news broke today, it confirmed her suspicion is valid. I want justice for not only us, but for all these other families that have to go through this. I want my dad. That's the most, that's the only thing I want is my dad right now. Back on February 6th, Harford was evicted from his home in the 2500 block of South Quitman in Denver. The homeowner discovered several boxes in the crawl space that were determined to be temporary urn boxes containing cremated human remains. After police came, more discoveries. Nearly three dozen temporary urns were located, some of which were empty. Police found urns in the U-Haul out front and in a hearse towed out of the home's backyard. Also inside that hearse, the body of a 63-year-old woman who died in August of 2022, covered with a sheet. Police say they believe she's been back there since her death. Mr. Harford provided the family with the remains of another person. I think most family members would be outraged by that kind of behavior and certainly grieved considerably. Harford's former company, Apollo Funeral and Cremation Services, was based out of this house turned office off Littleton Boulevard near downtown Littleton. An employee who works in one of these offices told me today that Hearst was parked in the parking lot for months after he left. When this all happened, he seemed very competent, very personal, very caring, compassionate. David Commodore said he trusted Harford with the remains of his wife when she died suddenly in her sleep in 2019. Now he wonders if the ashes he spread in the garden were really his wife. I feel somewhat betrayed on the whole situation. Police have a warrant for Harford on three charges, abuse of a corpse, forgery, and theft. They say he is cooperating with the investigation. In the meantime, DPD has set up a hotline for anyone who believes that they may have the wrong remains. 720-913-6610, that number at the bottom of your screen. We also have it in this story on 9news.com. Well, surely the echoes of what is happening in Penrose is a very similar story, and it shines a cruel light on uh, maybe the industry as a whole and, and the holes as far as any sort of regulation. And yeah, we know the legislature is starting to look at regulation of funeral directors in cases like this, sparred by these cases like the one we just saw today, the one in Penrose. Uh, this industry, obviously, a lot of people rely on people at a very, very difficult time, and sometimes you have to take their word for it. And in some cases, people are finding out that was not right. Yeah, these are jarring and cruel stories. All right, Steve.